Just to set the scene, Salty Dogs went all the way out to Staniel Key to fish the Wahoo Blitz. It was the first inaugural tournament. Well, Captain's meeting fun. We were a sponsor for the tournament, so they had a nice Wahoo Blitz bar designated for the Salty Dogs, which was very cool. Hanging out at Staniel Key, kind of talking to all the captains, getting a game plan on what we're going to do the next day, all the gear sitting ready on the boat. We're going to have a couple drinks and talk some shop. We're looking for a couple more tomorrow. We're having a I'll tell you what, the weather was not on our side, but it was not on everybody's side, I guess. Uh, it was about six to eight foot seas, uh, but the salt dog made easy work of it. Rolling out, fresh witches, fresh everything, ready to fish. Hooked up on our first fish of the day. Actually, this was like the second or third fish of the day, but the first couple we caught throughout the day were really small ones that weren't going to weigh in the tournament. I think they had to be a, at least 20, 20 pounds. But, uh, so we got hooked up on another one there. Carly going to grease the first fish that we're going to end up weighing. Good gaff, got him in the boat. Boys over there fighting the other fish we have on. Gaff shot, get this nice, probably 30 something pound fish in the boat. Oh man, we were very excited to have a nice fish in the boat now to bring the scales. After all, we were drinking the night before at the Salty Dog Wahoo Bar. If we had showed up without a Wahoo, that would have been uh, distasteful. Hey, we got time? Cap Dino said it was time for one more uh, go round there, and we came back and hooked the giant. This is the bite we were waiting on the whole day. Got to give a big shout out to the Farmer's Key guys for coming out and fishing with us. Shout out Captain Nixon, uh, our buddy JJ, and our other buddy Curly. They did a great job out there at the Daniel Key Wahoo Tournament. Oh, we see him, and he's close. Getting the rod out of the way. Yanking on that line, trying to get him as close to the boat as possible so Dean can sink that gaff into him. One more, yeah, there he is. Crowd goes wild. Big fish flopping on the deck. We knew he was going to be uh, at least a top three fish. I mean, at that point, we were looking at him, and those fish always look bigger than they are on the deck, but we were saying 70, 80, 90, being about 60. Didn't I tell you we should turn back? I told you we should turn back. Beautiful fish though. We were so excited to have him in the box. Can't stress the importance of having local knowledge. These guys led the way. We had to take an alternate route home to get there in time. Captain Dean did a great job at the helm with the help of our guy. Guys, cruising home. It is rough, rough, nasty. I mean, we were going over spots that had you know breaking waves like that exposed coral heads and we felt safe the whole time with captain dino at the helm and curly and jj at the bow there or at the uh helm as well just at the front window showing us kind of where we should trend to big catch there at the dock really excited to get this thing on the scale we had already weighed it on our own scale uh, but it's always nice to see him on the tournament scale and it's really nice to see your name second place there at the first inaugural Wahoo Blitz. Guys, if you haven't signed up for this tournament already, I would definitely try and add it to your schedule throughout the year. It was super fun, hometown kind of feel to it, out in the Bahamas. It was a really cool tournament. A little celebration. We were cutting loose that night pretty good and uh, hanging out with our buddies, the Pioneers of the Caribbean, who have become like family to us out there. I'd like to give a big thank you to Staniel Q Yacht Club for hosting such a great tournament in the first inaugural Wahoo Blitz. Really excited to fish it next year. And even better, we get to do it all as a family out there and have a blast.